at Grayson's last baseball game. He's out playing pitcher right now. Super windy today. This is the last game of the season. Oh my goodness, so cute. Grayson is already crazy. Oh my gosh, the wind. What does it say? I want, I want you to say it. <laughs> bath time, dearest kittens. Mommy calls with a meow. Grayson's brother has a bath and a nice new diaper, too. <laughs> it's fun being a big brother and a very special change. Yeah. Mostly, oh. it's exciting, though it may feel kind of strange. Oh, yeah. uh. The baby cries from time to time. That's what babies do. Well, it's bedtime. Did you have a fun game, Gray? Mm -hmm. This was Grayson's last game of the season. And I was happy baseball game. You're happy it's over. And who won? The Padres. You won the Padres. But Avery is done. So we're going to go. Good night, Gray. See you tomorrow. Say goodnight, Avery. Avery Breen. Hi. You guys, I'm trying so hard to know what her eye color is. Anthony swears they're brown. And you guys, sometimes I look at them and I th see that they're brown. And sometimes I look at her eyes and I think they look kind of blue. I can't tell what they're going to be. I don't know. Are you just a kicking? Kick, 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 kick. Look at the rolls. She's starting to get some rolls on her legs. You're getting so big. You're getting so big. For those of you who don't know, I have brown eyes, obviously. Anthony has blue eyes. Both our boys have blue eyes. In fact, if you've seen Porter's eyes, they are the prettiest, biggest, bluest eyes I've ever seen. And with Avery... I we didn't know and we still don't know what she's gonna be it would be so cute if like the boys had blue eyes like their dad and then Avery had brown eyes like me but we don't know um yet I guess like it isn't until usually about like six months when eyes are like set in their color but we had Grayson's last game of the season. His last baseball game was today. As you guys saw, he did really good. He's come really far this whole season. In the beginning, like the first practice, he he knew nothing. Like he knew, I mean, we had like a little wiffle ball set, like with the little tee and the balls and the baseball bat, but like we just played it here and there. It wasn't like serious. He didn't really have anybody to like model after so he went in knowing like nothing and he would run the bases carrying the bat because he just like didn't know and like didn't even know first base home base like any of that so he's come a long way still has a long way to go they have fall baseball but I don't think we will do that we already set up for soccer in the fall and I think this 
whole like summer series has been really nice for us it was just like the end of may and then all of june i think we'll probably do that again next year unless we have like a family vacation in june then maybe we won't do it but it was such a like perfect amount of games and commitment it was like twice a week it was easy low commitment didn't have to go if you didn't want to i think we went to all the games except for one the one that was on my birthday so gray had a good time i asked him if he liked the season he said yes as you guys saw and i asked him if he wanted to do it again next year and he said yes so i will put him in sports until he tells me he does not want to do it anymore and then i will not force him but as of right now he likes soccer and he likes baseball we'll see how long that continues but it was really fun because we got talking to I mean I got to know some of these parents because we showed up twice a week and saw the saw each other over and over again and a lot of them had a lot of similarities to to us the only difference was we were obviously the youngest ones <laughs> anthony and i were the younger ones i think most of the parents were like mid-30s and anthony and i like just turned 30 but they're all super nice people and a lot of their kids are going to be at grayson's school next year in kindergarten um they all said they were in am which we are in am we had to pick either am or pm if you don't know grayson's school district they only do half day kindergartens so you either get am or pm it's horrible but it is what it is so we got am all the kids on his team got am and so it sounds like he's gonna know some people have some familiar faces next year starting in the fall so that was encouraging like to get to know people i really like grayson to do sports not because i think he's the best because he's not i'm realistic to that but it's the social element it's getting to know people in our area um it's the exercise the teamwork the discipline um things like that that i think sports helps kids learn so it was really fun um getting to see parents with kids that are the same age as him gonna be in the same possibly the same class as him there's like two kindergarten classes so they might be in the same class as him might not so it was really fun and uh, a lot of the parents they have older kids that are already in this elementary school and i've heard nothing but good things about this elementary school we don't know we don't have any experience with this elementary school since grayson is our oldest but all everything we've heard so far has been like amazing so that's very encouraging and nice to hear after the baseball game ended, we went out and got ice cream. The whole team got ice cream, and then all the kids got medals. I took a picture of Grayson with his medal and put that here. He was so excited to get his medal and obviously to get ice cream. We got Porter ice cream as well, and Avery was the best. She was quiet. She did not make a peep the whole game, the whole ice cream party. She was just quiet. She actually fell asleep at one point. She is literally, you guys, an angel baby total opposite from porter like total opposite from when we had porter not knocking porter but he was just he would not chill like she does but anyway we had the ice cream party and uh gray got his medal and the coach asked him what his favorite thing was about baseball and he said running the bases which i can understand that so the coach was really nice um a really nice guy all the coaches volunteer so it was nice that he volunteered his time to teach all the kids and um it, the ice cream party was a hit we don't we didn't do that for soccer with soccer over like it, we just never got back together so with the baseball thing it was kind of fun to have something afterwards it's fun to see like different coaches and what they do different things like in baseball we had like snack days so it just rotated and every parent did snack one day and we never did snacks in soccer so just differences here and there but uh, overall it was a good season glad it's over um but then again I, I i don't know i could have kept going like because now i'm looking at july and we have like nothing going on in july i don't know why that is but everything happened in june we had the vacation bible school camp in june we had swim lessons in june baseball games in june and then it all ends in june and then july we have like nothing so july is gonna be i don't know i think we're gonna go a little crazy a little board i don't know i guess we'll see i don't know when i'll pick up the camera again we are going over to my sister's tomorrow to hang out so i might pick up the camera but i don't usually when i go over there just because we have so much fun and i don't even think about the camera and gray has swim lessons he's got two more swim lessons tuesday thursday and then he'll be done we just did a quick four week session so i don't know bless you so i don't know when he'll start up swim lessons again probably not until like august when school's starting 
but he's been loving swim and he's done really really well in this setting i don't know if it's the male coach i don't know if it's like the diff like he's a year older but like last year when he did swim lessons he was not this good so he seems to be really really doing good and learning a lot which i'm happy about but I don't know when I'll see you guys again. Um, Avery does turn three months on Friday, so I will definitely pick up the camera then if if I don't do it beforehand. But hope you guys are all having a fun summer. Um, I hope if you're in sports, it's going well for you. I think a lot of sports only kind of go until June. Maybe they don't really do July because it just is too hot. I don't really know. Let me know if you have sports that go all summer because ours are done now that it's the end of June. I think that's going to be it. I am watching the TV. I am waiting for The Bachelorette to come on. It starts um, today, the new season, and it's kind of killing me because it used to be that it was on from 8 to 10 p.m. For some reason, this year or this season, it's on at 9 p.m., 9 to 11. That's so late. The last couple seasons have not been good with The Bachelorette. If you've watched, you know what I'm talking about. But honestly, the best thing to do while watching The Bachelorette, I'll tell you a secret, and you probably already know this, go to Twitter while you watch it. Because the tweets that people tweet and the memes that they make is honestly more entertaining than the TV show is. I'm telling you, it is hilarious. I am laughing. And if you have someone that you know is watching it too, and that you can send the tweets and the memes to, it makes it even better better my mom and I the whole show like we don't watch it together but we're both watching it in our own homes and we send each other memes like the whole time and it is so much fun so that's kind of why I like to watch it just because I don't know it's just trashy silly tv and I make Anthony he doesn't really watch it but he's in the same room as me so he makes fun of it too and I don't know I've just watched it for a long time so we'll see if this one is good I think it's Charity is that her name I think Gosh, I don't even know. So we'll see if it's good, but I've got my little Avery to watch it with me. We'll see how long she makes it. I'm sure she's going to go to sleep soon. She slept through the night again last night. It was so nice. I actually feel like really well rested. So again, she's just an angel baby, you guys. I don't know what to say. She's just the best baby. Sorry to my other kids. Actually, Gray was, Grayson was a pretty good baby too, but she is just she is just my baby. She's my, I don't know. You're not supposed to have favorites. She's my angel baby is what she is. But anyway, I'm just blabbing on. Anthony's working out, so I don't have anyone to talk to. So I'm talking to you guys. So I hope you don't mind. I, I don't know. I find it easy to just talk about anything with you guys. I don't know why that is, but hope you don't mind my rambling. Anyway, I'll close out this vlog before I go on some other tangent about who knows what. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Avery. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Trying to get a laugh, but she hasn't laughed yet. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.